Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be feasting on some Hiroshima style okonomiyaki. I also got ganso, I also got karaage, and I also have a lot of sweets from Hiroshima. Yes I do. First of all, I need to apologize for this really really terrible lighting. This room, uh, this hotel that I stayed at, it, it's a pretty nice hotel. It, it's, uh, it's called the Lively hotel in Hakata and it's really nice location is great the only problem is that the lighting is really really dark yeah it, I feel like I'm at a bar and it doesn't get any brighter than this so I apologize for the weird shadows on my face I arrived about three hours before my check-in so I had a few hours to kill so I went down to the beach area I rode a bicycle I walked for about seven kilometers and I'm exhausted but it was a really really nice day. I actually wanted to go and eat some ramen but just to keep myself safe I decided to do takeout instead. As I was trying to figure out what I should eat, you know what kind of Fukuoka specialties I should feast on, <laughs> I realized that I really miss the okonomiyaki in Hiroshima. I had it once with my friend Ryotetsu and it was so so delicious and guess what I just stumbled upon this uh, okonomiyaki shop which specializes in Hiroshima okonomiyaki so I had to get that. <laughs> so we got okonomiyaki we also got some karaage I believe karaage is I don't know if it's Fukuoka style maybe it could be I also got ganso which is another Hiroshima specialty and I got a whole bunch of sweets that I picked up in Hiroshima that I haven't eaten yet so I'm gonna eat all that on this video. Before that I need to drink something. I'm so exhausted and whenever I'm exhausted I drink um, these uh, vinegar drinks and I found this uh I picked this up actually at the subway station I thought perfect you know I need I need a little bit of energy so cheers! Spot <laughs> sour, but it's so good. This is kurosu vinegar. Uh, it's black vinegar, which is supposed to be healthier and also tastier. Mm. Wakes me up immediately. Okay, first thing I want to start off with is ganso. Ganso is a Hiroshima specialty. Most people outside of Hiroshima have never heard of ganso. I don't quite remember what ganso is. This is what it looks like to take out. And I think it's like pub food, like izakaya food. And this is what it looks like. Um, I don't quite remember what it is, but I'll probably figure it out once I put it in my mouth. This comes with mayo. It also comes with um, some sauce. I think first I'm gonna eat it without the sauce. I always do that with um, mostly everything except raw fish but this is the ganso mm. I'm so hungry first meal of the day mmm mm. fish cake I think it's fish cake it's fish cake that has been deep fried mmm mmm oishi this will go so well with a nice cup of sake. I think it will. This time I have um, some mayonnaise along with the green onions of course and I also dipped it into the sauce. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. That sauce is I think it's ponzu tastes like ponzu which is like citrus fruit and soy sauce and the mayo makes it creamy kind of counteract counteract it kind of like um counteract it kind of balances out the taste because the ponzu is sour mmm now I really feel like having some sake it's so good let's put that to the side I want to finish that but I'm gonna go on to the next one because I have so much food. <laughs> okay, so I got a box of karaage. So this is um, a box of six pieces of karaage. Three is salted and three is soy sauce flavor. It also came with a pack of lemon juice. 
and um, black pepper. But I'll try, but I'll try the karage on its own. I think first to begin with. So this is my piece of karage, Japanese fried chicken. Look how crispy it looks. You know, it's been about like 40 minutes since I, I got my food because um, it was um, actually quite far and I had to check in and everything. But hopefully it's still a little bit crispy. Mmm, mmm. Actually, it is still kind of crispy. Mmm, mmm. That one is shio. That's salt. Simple but delicious. Mmm, mmm. I like simply salted food. You know, you can taste the the original flavor of the ingredients. Mm. Okay, maybe this is soy sauce. Wakaranai. We'll try. Mmm. 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 This one is shoyu aji. Soy sauce. But it's not very strong. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The soy sauce is just like an accent to the chicken, which is actually quite nice. Mmm. I like how they didn't mask the flavor of the chicken. Let me put some um, black pepper on one. Actually, that was not black pepper. This was um, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. A lot. Mm. That makes me want some beer. Mm. Ever since I started intermittent fast fasting and I only eat once a day, I swear I'm always starving at mealtime. Now this is the stuff this is the okonomiyaki hiroshima style look at this it's so beautiful isn't this beautiful for a takeout food this is amazing looking oh my gosh okay i'm so excited because i love hiroshima style okonomiyaki well, i love okonomiyaki period but the hiroshima one is pretty awesome so the hiroshima okonomiyaki is different from the osaka um, they always have lots of cabbage, they have noodles, and um, they only have a very, they only have a very thin layer of batter uh, uh, when you compare it to Osaka style, which is more, mostly batter, yeah, and, and they don't put noodles. Okay, all right, itadakimasu ta This looks so good. Mmm. Mm. That tastes like heaven. You know, it's still a little bit warm, so I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Thank God it was a hot day today. You know, it, it, it's not cold or anything. It's still really, really delicious. Mmm. <sighs> I just had a piece of squid. I love all the green onions. Mm. The okonomiyaki sauce that they use in Hiroshima, I think it's got otafuku sauce. Mm. It's a little bit different from the sauce they use in Tokyo. Mm. I feel like it's a little bit sweeter, mm. but it's so nice. It's fruity. Mm. <sighs> Okay, that's gonna go into my mouth. Mm. This is like the best room service ever. A year of not meeting people and not eating in many restaurants. I'm so used to eating alone. I actually don't mind it, but when I think about it, I sometimes do wish I could eat with somebody while having a nice conversation. Mm, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Outside at a restaurant. Mm, the karage is so crispy. Mm, this is good. Yummy. 
Okay, so now I have a whole bunch of sweets that I bought from Hiroshima. In addition to their famous momiji manju, they have other sweets. They have a lot of variety, big variety. And I chose seven items. Yes, seven items. Can I eat them all? That's the problem. I want to start off with this one, guys. So this is called Atarashi Momiji, which means like new momiji. I think it's this Atarashi means new. An Andersen to Nishiki Do no Atarashi Momiji. Okay, so this is a collaboration between Anderson, which is the bakery that was born in Hiroshima, and Nishiki Do, which is one of the most uh, well-established uh, momiji manju shop in Hiroshima. Interesting. Okay, let's give it a try. And there is your beautiful momiji manju. Yes, it's the shape of a maple leaf. Doesn't that look delicious? Yeah, the outside is basically like a pancake. Like a dorayaki, I guess. And the inside, the traditional one is filled with anko, which is sweet azuki bean. Okay, let's see what's inside this one. Oh, just wait. Already feels different. What? Okay, that's definitely not azuki. It's not azuki beans. It's some kind of cream. I bought this a couple of days ago. I completely forgot. Oh, this is a lemon. This is lemon because Hiroshima is also famous for their lemons. Yeah. So this is lemon momiji manju. Mmm, sounds good. Mmm, it is good. Mmm. It's like lemon curd inside momiji manju. Mmm. The manju part, it's actually like softer and fluffier than, and I, I think a little moister than the, 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 the cake part of the dorayaki. Mm. It has a different texture. But the lemon on the inside is spectacular. I wonder if it's mixed with um, white bean paste. Mmm. Mm. Mm. You know what? I don't think they have any um, white bean paste in here. I think it's just a beautiful lemon curd inside momiji manju. Can you imagine how delicious this is? Mmm. It's so By the way, I did finish all my food. I had the okonomiyaki, I had the ganso, I finished that one first. And I also finished the karage. I ate all of it. All gone. So I am hitting my limit. But I still have like six things to try. How about this one? Let's go for this. So this one also caught my attention. This is amazake taruto. Amazake is like sweet sake. Taruto means tart. This looks like it comes from a company called Mike. Yeah, Mike. Looks like this. It, it reminds me of the, uh, the the cheesecake from that shop called Tart. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, those awesome cheesecakes. Kind of reminds me of that. Okay, let's break it apart. Very flaky and kind of crumbly as well. Hmm. Hmm. It does taste like amazake. I usually drink amazake during the winter months. It, it helps to keep my body warm and I like the taste. Um, amazake is non-alcoholic. Usually there is 0% alcohol. Uh, in some places they have like maybe 1%. It really depends but usually the ones at the store the natural ones at least don't have any alcohol. I, I, I expected the amazake taste to be maybe stronger. It's actually quite subtle. You just get like a, 
like a tinge of amazake. Maybe they did that on purpose. That way, everybody can eat this, um, whether you are a fan of amazake or not. Yeah, because if you didn't tell me, I probably wouldn't know that this is amazake. The texture of very soft sweet potatoes, like anoimo, and it also has that that sweetness of sweet potatoes with the umami of cheese. Yeah, I don't know if they have cheese in here, but that's what I'm getting. That's pretty good, but a little bit normal, I think. Sorry, a little bit normal for me. I'm stuffed. I'm stuffed. You know what? Give me about 30 minutes, okay? I need to take a rest before I finish the rest of the sweets. Sorry. See you guys in 20 minutes. So this is what happens when my brain cells aren't working. I did rest for about 30 minutes and then I uh, started to film myself eating the, the rest of the, the snacks, the treats that I bought from Hiroshima. And then at the end, when I had finished all of them and ended the video, I pressed my, the button on my camera to stop the filming and guess what? I wasn't filming. I wasn't filming. <laughs> I was talking to camera, a camera that wasn't on. Damn it, damn it, damn it. However, I do have uh, one more left. So, sorry I can't share the rest of um, the snacks with you. Look, I have the empty packets right here. Everything was delicious. It really was. It really was. But I do have one more. I have this one. Okay, so let me share this with you. This is your... Hmm? Yoshu cakey, which means like um, liquor cake, and this is um, cake that's been drenched in brandy and rum. This is, I think, one of the most popular um, uh, edible souvenirs that they have in Hiroshima because I see them all over the place, and I've seen them in Tokyo as well uh, in a shop that specializes in Hiroshima um, uh, food. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So it kind of looks like a castera, doesn't it? Castera cake. However, you can see how like it's glistening. It's because it is very, very wet. Like I, I truly think you should be eating this with um, a fork or something because it's that moist. All right, just double checking to make sure that the camera is recording. It is recording. <laughs> Itadakimasu. Mm. That is so boozy. Mmm. Fortunately, I like rum. And I do like the taste of brandy, although I don't drink brandy. It's delicious. This is by far the sweetest uh, cake that I've tried today. Yeah, out of all the sweets I tried, this is the sweetest. Um, it's almost like the sweetness of honey, but it's delicious. I love it. I like, I think this would be great with vanilla ice cream. But also good on its own, you know, with some tea. Mmm. And it's so good. This is so, so, so boozy. And I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the, the booze in the cake. But it's making me even sleepier. So I think it's time to say goodbye. I'm so disappointed I couldn't share with you all the other all the other treats that I bought today. So sorry. You know what? I think I have to do one with the sweets I find here in Fukuoka. Maybe I'll do that. Besides, I'm very very unfamiliar with Fukuoka sweets. Oh, <laughs> the vinegar is so sour. Oh. Anyway. Time to say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. And please continue to stay safe. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.